Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ingenious Artist and this video is a tutorial on Photoshop Actions. Now, you might have heard about Photoshop Actions, uh, maybe it rings a bell. Uh, basically, uh, you'll mostly see them as like one-click photo effects for Photoshop. You know, like uh, you got those uh, mobile apps for photo editing and they have uh, some presets that you can use just tap one one tap and the effect is applied over the photo well Photoshop actions is almost a thing like that except for the fact that Photoshop actions is like a set of commands that you can like record and play it again later so basically Photoshop actions will speed up your workflow and make you work much faster or maybe even automatically work without you having to do anything so this video is going to be all about photoshop actions and uh today's video will be only about the basics now i've seen a lot of tutorials on photoshop actions when i was learning and uh, i just didn't seem to find anything that was helpful like on youtube because only uh, the tutorials that are on YouTube will just show you how to record and save the action. That's it. But nobody shows you how to make it or how to make it better or maybe, uh, you know, a specific type of action. Well, I think I can show you some of what I have learned. And I might do this as a series video. But for now, it's just about the basics. And speaking of which, uh, you can get a lot of actions in my portfolio if you're interested. I don't know. Uh, I just took the chance. So uh, I'll probably put the link below to my portfolio. As you can see, there are lots of different actions. One's our comic book effect our pop art, our stencil and stuff, you can see the preview right here. So I'll put the link to my portfolio right here where you can get all the actions and download them and, you know, use it to your heart's content. So um, I have this beautiful little lady over here. Uh, the picture is from Astragony. Uh, he's a great photographer and he has a Flickr portfolio. You, I'm gonna give the link down below. You can check all his photos. Those are really cool and really helpful on, you know, trying out actions and stuff because it's uh, really clear and uh, kind of big in size. So that's pretty good. Uh, so as I was saying, Photoshop actions are like a set of commands that you can record and save it for later. Um, it's basically like, you know, like I'm recording this video with Camtasia. So you record what you do and then you play it over again when you want to like, you know, do the same thing again, but you don't want to do it yourself manually. So at first I'm going to show you, explain you how to get the actions window right here. So what you need to do is go to windows right here and select actions or alt plus f9 that's the default setting i think because i never changed the shortcuts uh so you go actions and the action window pops up right here and you can see all these folders you might not have so many folders but that's because uh, there's a lot of different actions i've installed you might only see the default actions folder so these folders are called sets and when you click this arrow button and it'll show you all the actions in this set which is probably like 10 to 15 actions uh, something like that so I'm gonna explain you how this thing works and how you might able to use it more uh, simply or easily something so anyways uh, these folders are called sets and these things are called actions and these also have a down arrow which you can like select it and see all the steps and even on the steps you can see all the 
like uh, different commands that you used on the specific step of the action. And so this is more like a giant tree or something. So you can just go down and look exactly what you have uh, recorded it or saved it, something like that. So um, let's try to explain what this window specifically does. Uh, here are all the buttons here. As you can see, there's a stop button, a record button, and a play button, just like any video player or something. And there's a folder button, and a new layer button, and a delete button. So uh, we're gonna skip these three for later, and we're gonna start with uh, this folder button right here. So, this one is called a new set. So if you want to make a new action at first, uh, you have to make a new set or use one of these existing sets that you have. Uh, I'm gonna make a new set called Photoshop Action Tutorial. So here I have a new set and now that I've selected this folder, I can just, um, press on the new layer one that's called a new action button so when you press this you'll get a new action and you can write the name so for example I'm just gonna write example action and then you can select which set it goes to so you can select all the folders right here I have this already selected so it'll come as this and then you can select a function key right here uh, like F2 or F3, F4, F5, and from F2 to F12. So that's basically like uh, if you want to speed up the process even more, you can just select a shortcut and then each time you press the key, the action will be played. And then there's the color. So you can like color code it according like, you know, what you see in the layers. So you can just color code it to find it easily and stuff. So I have this example action right here, and uh, now I'm gonna record it. So uh, now we're recording the action, so whatever I do to this photo will get recorded, and then if I play it again, and it'll work exactly the same way. Uh, there's uh, There are a few limitations to this action thing, and uh, I'm not gonna explain those right now, but maybe in a later video because there's a lot of things to consider for like you know if you're using a brush or maybe like eraser tools or text and stuff so uh, you have to watch out for specific things in your actions to work it with like other types of photos or maybe different sizes and stuff so that basically depends so I'm just going to make a simple action and, uh, you know, record it. So at first, I'm going to duplicate this layer, or you can just use the shortcut Control plus J. So here I have a duplicated layer, and then I'm going to group it. So I'll uh, select the layer and press Control G to group the layer here, and I'm going to name the group Effect. And here we have the layer one here. And then we can just, uh, you know, do some adjustments like from image to adjustments. And let's try curves. So I need some type of yellowish glow. So I'm going to go from RGB to blue and drag this thing here. And it gives off a yellowish glow. And then I'm going to drag this here and uh, it just highlights the blue and uh, you know makes the blue come out and you know maybe a little bit more experimenting I think the RGB one I'm just gonna increase the contrast and stuff and I think it looks great so here is uh, I've applied the curves now uh, let's do something else like maybe uh, let's do an exposure one. So 
going to increase the exposure a bit and make it a bit uh, light for the vintage effect and so here we have exposure and then I'm gonna just bump up the contrast a bit yeah so there you have it, it uh, it's a uh, kind of vintage or retro effect uh, something you might find in Instagram or something uh, anyway so here we have it recorded right here and basically I wouldn't uh, like tell you to use this adjustment right here uh, if you want to like you know save it for later or give it to someone else to use you should make the action more editable so that the person using can edit it to you know like whatever if uh, they want or something like whatever matches with the photo so I don't really recommend using that method I'm just showing you to make a simple action so after recording this you see I have all the steps right here and it shows all the steps and then we can just stop the recording and here we have an example action and now we can just delete this there I just did it so that you know we can go back to the original anytime so here um, now we're gonna play this example action right here so let's just play it and we have it played back right here and we have a vintage effect so now I'm gonna tell you about all the options right here all the uh, basic options so you click on this arrow right here which gives a drop down menu and uh, now I'm gonna explain the simple ones from button mode to uh, these ones are the buttons here and I'm gonna explain the button mode here and uh, these four options or uh, these five options anyway so uh, if you can see this uh, I sort of explained it earlier that it's like a tree here so you can see all the steps and all the steps inside the steps and so what button mode does is makes it like a button that's simple as that so it's like a button right here and you can just you know select a button and it won't show any steps it's just like a button that's it uh, I wouldn't recommend this because it looks kind of weird and you can't really see any steps so uh, if you want to like edit the action or edit the effect you are applying I wouldn't recommend button mode so let's disable that and go back to the normal mode and after this I'm going to show you how to save and load actions and uh, so you have this selected you should select the set right here the folder and um, you can go to save actions to like you know uh, get a folder and save it as whatever you want I recommend using the name of the set right here and the extension is .atn so you can you can find a lot of ATN files on the internet and I've already explained that I have a lot of actions on the internet and you can just download it anytime uh, so that's it so you can just click and save I'm just gonna cancel it and then you can like reset all actions and it'll all be reset except for the default ones and then you can clear all of the actions you can just delete it at one go and you can also load actions like you know what I did now uh, what I was saying that you can find any action on the internet it's uh, the actions are really helpful and helps you increase your workflow rate of workflow and you can just load the actions from right here or double click on the ATN file if you have Photoshop installed and um, that's pretty much I'm gonna explain it right now so I'm just gonna explain the delete button right here so you click on it and click delete and it deletes the action that's it so this was a basic tutorial on how to make Photoshop actions and how to create and save and all other shit like that 
Um, I guess this is kind of like the ones of the YouTube video that I was explaining about, but I have explained some uh, different stuff than the other videos, and I'm going to explain more on our my upcoming videos. If this gets like really popular, or if I get like 100 to 150 subscribers, etc. So I'm going to put a milestone right here and then move on to the next video when the milestone gets achieved. So for example, if this video gets like 500 views, I'm going to start making the second part of the video, which might be uh, get making the action non-destructive, which means like um, it won't harm the original photo uh in any way like what i just did you know i made a uh, duplicated layer and used it in a group so it wouldn't harm the original layer and i can just delete that layer and make the original visible again so i have the original without even like closing photoshop or opening the photo again and again and using the close button etc so i'm going to explain all about that in another video and uh, this just might be a series tutorial. So be sure to like and subscribe and, you know, share it with your friends. If you, if your friends are photographers or designers or basically anyone with Photoshop, uh, if you just share it, that would be helpful. And this concludes my tutorial or finishes my tutorial. I, I don't know. So anyways, uh, that's about it. Bye-bye.